Well, Minneapolis City Council President Lisa Bender saying she intends to dismantle the city's police department. Well, today on CNN, she was asked this follow up question. What if in the middle of the night my home is broken into? Who do I call? Yes, I mean, I, I hear that loud and clear from a lot of my neighbors. And I know, and, and myself too, and I know that that comes from a place of privilege. So what's the debate to defund the police movement with Democratic strategists? Kevin Wally, retired Nutley, New Jersey police detective Steve Rogers, and Republican candidate for Senate in Minnesota, former Congressman Jason Lewis. Welcome to all of you. you Thank you Shannon. for having me. Hey, Shannon, good to see you. All right, Steve, I want to start with you as a former officer out there on the streets. How exactly do you think this will work? We're told there will be other community policing opportunities. There will be different ways to respond if there's a 911 call. What do you envision? This is how it's going to work. The blood of crime victims will flow like never before in the history of this country. When you begin to reduce the budgets of police departments, you're reducing manpower and you're giving total and complete control over to criminal enterprises, including your gangs, by the way. Now, keep in mind that the president has heard the call of the people, the victims, the crime victims, especially who are being hit hard in minority communities by drug dealers, by gangsters, and he's responding in kind, saying, we need law and order, we need more cops. Yes, I agree with community policing. It's a great proactive way of preventing crime. But right now, like in cities of Chicago, you need to get cops in there that are going to protect the people, arrest these individuals, and put them behind bars. And for, you know, some of the folks who are out protesting and um, calling for defunding police, I mean, this is not optional. This is now a purity test. I want to play a little bit of what happened with the Minneapolis mayor when he was put on the spot about this this weekend. It is a yes or a no. Will you defund the Minneapolis Police Department? I mean, Kevin, that answer did not go over well uh, with the folks who were protesting in that particular area. Uh, but there's caution coming from folks within the Democratic Party tonight saying, listen, if you make your candidates go out there and, and take a purity test on this thing, you're going to lose a lot of the American people. Yes, yeah, Shannon, I think it's a good point. You know, I'm not in favor of any kind of purity tests when it comes to uh, elections. I, I think you're right in that it will be problematic if any Democrat uh, on the federal level running for Senate, for running for the House campaigns on defunding the police. What we're seeing in the legislation that was introduced by Speaker Pelosi and her leadership team today in the House and uh, Minority Leader Schumer in the Senate is not a, a, a defund the police bill, but it's a rather a reimagining of the police. Where do we fund our priorities in terms of community engagement? Uh, reaching out to the homeless, funding education. Where can we cut back uh, police spending and spend it on uh, those at least served in our community to prevent future crimes if we lift, lift more and more people out of poverty, out of fear, uh, out of homelessness, and out, out of uh, destitution in our communities? Well, and laudable goals. I think that is a nonpartisan issue. People across the board should want to see that accomplished for every American out there. Um, I want to play something that comes to us from Congressman Steve Scalise. He's the House Minority Whip, uh, Republican, and he says this about what's been proposed, the, the measure that you mentioned. Here's his take. As far as uh, the Democrat package, they haven't been talking to Republicans about this, so I'm not sure what they're going to be rolling out. Uh, but clearly, you know, if, if somebody abuses their power uh, in any uh, position of law enforcement, uh, there needs to be accountability. We've been talking about that uh, for a long time as well. And so, you know, accountability and justice needs to be served. Okay, Jason, you've been a part of this process on the Hill. How does this work where, yeah. you know, Steve Scalise says there, they haven't come to us, we haven't had a conversation. Of course, we want to hold people accountable. Will Democrats and Republicans get together on a piece of legislation here for police reform, or is this a messaging bill from Democrats? Yeah, I, I, it's purely messaging. My opponent in this race, Tina Smith, won't say which side she's on. You can't get people out of poverty, to Kevin's point, which we all agree, without the first object of government, and that's public order. That's not a privilege. That's a right. And so you've got to get people like Senator Tina Smith to say, are you in favor of defunding or not? Biden had to come out with a, a ploy about that today. But I don't think they'll come to an agreement because this isn't about negotiations to talk about Mayor de Blasio. You can't negotiate with these people. 
people. It's my way or the highway, and the resistance now has full control over the Democratic Party and these Democrat cities, whether it's Chicago or Minneapolis. And if you want to know what it's going to look like, what defending the police is going to look like, look at Minneapolis last week. I've toured the businesses, 500 of them damaged or ruined on Lake Street, on University Avenue. I've met with these minority business owners. They don't know what to do if there's no police. If somebody breaks into your business or breaks into your home, heaven forbid, who are you going to call, Dr. Phil? This is crazy. The Democrats in Minnesota can't keep us healthy and they can't keep us safe. Well, uh, we're seeing these conversations in D.C., New York, Minneapolis, and many other places where folks are going to have to take a position one way or another as this conver conversation and the demands um, continue. In the meantime, thank you for having the conversation with us tonight, Steve, Kevin, and Jason. Thank you all. Pleasure. You thank bet. you. Thanks, Shannon.